Hey folks, this is Denver, and um, this is going to be my first video of uh, maybe a lifelong series that I want to call Mind Share, Mind Share, where I'm going to share things that I'm learning about my life and things that I have learned. So here's something that I believe can really change your life, um, and it's changed mine. That's why I say that. This is pretty amazing. Um, I had a friend one time that I had a falling out with a good friend. And um, we both had a mutual friend. And I was confiding in a mutual friend. And the mutual friend was trying to tell me, Hey Denver, um, a lot of these things reveal stuff about us. You should look at yourself. And, and that's about all the further she would get. <laughs> And I would be, wait, 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 wait. You understand what he did to me, right? And you understand that I even apologized and he still came back with, you understand that, right? And she would keep saying, yeah, but there's something, this reveals stuff about us. And if we just look at ourselves and I'm like, I looked at myself and I'm right. He, he was wrong for this. Come on, tell me. I want to hear you tell me he was wrong. And she would say, look, I'm not judging what he did. I'm just saying, look at yourself. That, And I thought, oh my God, this girl just will not see him as doing anything wrong. And uh, so the conversation, every time it came up, always ended on like, okay, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, it's me. It's all me. And that's not what she was saying. Well, one day I had a break breakthrough. We were we were talking, and it was the same talk that we had a million times, and it just hit me. I was sitting there, and I said, "You know what? I can't be responsible for him and what he does. That's between him and God. I can only be responsible for me, my part in it." and my response to it. That's the only thing I can control. And she's like, you know, she didn't but a virtual slap on the head. And, That's what I've been trying to tell you for. <laughs> and I was just laughing. I said, look, I'm sorry. And I just saw it so clearly. And I said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry I put you through this. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know why, but now I see it so clearly. And that was a pivotal point in my life. It really, really changed my life a lot. Well, I was exploring that. And, you know, I was praying about it. I was going to God about it and saying, what, what happened? God, I was so sure I was right. Why? Now, let me tell you, it didn't alleviate his part in this. So, but, you know, so it didn't mean that I was wrong and he was right. Um, we both, like it says, you know, the saying goes, there's, two sides of the story and I've learned that most of the time yes both parties contribute to the problem no matter how lopsided it looks and both have something to learn about themselves so anyway someone said God why was I so sure I was so sure that I was right and now you know I go through and I watch people post on their wall you know um, yeah well you're gonna be sorry one day. Karma's gonna get you, you know, for what you did to me and all this stuff. I see all this stuff, you know, like, oh, one day you're gonna wake up and see what you missed and what you lost, you know, stuff I used to post all the time. And I see that so clearly now. So that's part of why I'm sharing this too. And here's here's the amazing part about it. This is even this is the amazing part. I go to God with it. I said, why was I so right? Why was I so sure? I could not be convinced I was wrong, that I did anything wrong. Why? God, I love truth. I want to be honest. And even if I have to humble myself and eat crow, I'm willing to do it when the truth is right there in front of me. So what made me fight so hard for something that I thought was right about? Why could I not see what she was telling me? Why? Well, amazing. God downloaded this parable to me. I just, this is what he said to me. I'm praying this and this, I'm going to tell it just like I heard it. 
This is the answer I heard. There was a student that got an algebra problem from his teacher. And the student went and he worked the algebra problem. And he proudly comes back and he submits it to the teacher and the teacher looks at it and says, nope, not right. So he looks at it and takes it back and he reworks the problem. But he comes up with the same answer. He's looking again, he's working it, working it. Same answer. And now he's like, what is wrong? And he's slowly going through one part of the time and figuring out that problem. Same answer. So he takes it back to the teacher and he says, look, this is right. Are you sure? Maybe you're mistaken. The teacher says, no, that's wrong. <laughs> what? Okay. So the student takes the teacher step by step through the problem. You know, X over B minus A, Z, whatever, equals this, right? Teacher goes, that's correct. So he said, and then, da 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 la 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 He goes, the second part of the problem equals this, right? Teacher says, yeah, that's right. So then he goes on a little problem and he just he keeps, and he goes through all the steps, stopping in each point of the way, making sure that he's right and the teacher verifies it. So he gets to the end, to the solution, da 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 da, equals that, right? And the teacher's like, right. He's, you told me I was wrong. You kept telling me I was wrong. Why did you say that? And the teacher said, did you ever look at your formula? So the student's like, ah. And he checks his formula. And the formula was wrong. So God said to me that we go through life, we've, we've created filters in our head through our experiences, through our traumas, through what people have taught us. And we've created these formulas that allow us to analyze events and things that happen to us and things that people do to us. And then we come up with a solution. For example, if somebody sneers at us, uh, our experience and teachings and formula tells us that that person is being a jerk to us or he's angry or something. So that's what those formulas are. There's, they come up with a solution. Well, God told me that he said, my solution, no matter what the problem is, is love, peace, and joy. That's my solution for everything, good and bad, that comes into your life. When you have my formula to process events and things that happen to you in your life, you get love, peace, and joy. So if your answer is not love, peace, and joy, you need to look at your formula. So I thought, wow, wow, amazing. And this has just been such a big thing in my life. Now, I'm just learning to live that, but it's already made a huge impact on my life. And I wanted to share that with you. Just consider if your life isn't going the way you know it should, if you don't have constant love, peace, and joy, if you're wishing bad things on people that have done bad things to you, and no matter what you think and no matter how you look at it, you feel justified, you feel that that's right, just consider that your formula may be wrong and that God has a better formula. He, he wants to replace all that bad formula with his good formula. So that no matter what somebody does to you, and no matter your circumstances, you get love, peace, and joy. So I want to share that with you, and uh, I hope it blesses you. And uh, 
hopefully there'll be more of this coming uh again this is uh i'm denver and uh this is my little series i'm starting called mind share